There was a young uh, man who was very brilliant. Uh, he lived in the mountains of one of our southern states, border states. And because he was so brilliant in school, the teacher in the little log cabin school went one day to see the father and mother. And the teacher called upon these parents because they said, John has great capabilities. John is a fantastically brilliant person. He's a genius. And he ought to go to college. And we have taken him as far as we can take him. And he needs to, take, to get the last two years of high school, which was down in the big city. And then he needs to go to college. He's a brilliant person. But the father said, well, how much money will it take? And when the teacher said how much money it would take by scraping around, the father realized that in order for his son to finish high school in the last two years and to go to college, it would co he would have to starve himself to death. And that's exactly, he made his decision. He said, all right, then John can go to the city to school. And John went down to the city to school, dressed up as uh, in uh, the clothes of a country boy. And of course, he was ridiculed. He had to work hard. He had to study hard. He had a very difficult time. But gradually, he got away from, uh, he was able to buy some store-bought clothes and a lot of other things. And by the time he was, uh, he was a sophomore in college, he was quite a sophisticated young man, and you would never know that he came out of the hills. And that by now, he had been gone from home four years, and his home was sort of a dim memory. He was concentrating so much on his studies and so on. And one day, his father up in the hills who knew that he was dying and wouldn't be able to make it much longer, he finally decided that he was going to go see his son. So he had a, an old wagon, and he had an old horse, broken down horse, sway back. And he hitched up the horse of the wagon, and he told his wife, he said, I'm going to go see John. So he started down the mountains, and once he got out of the mountains, he had to go through a few settlements and small towns, and as he did, wherever he went, people ridiculed, they laughed at him, they laughed at his mule, they threw rocks at him, they threw mud at him, everything. And by the time he arrived at the city, he was a pretty sorry-looking sight. And he went to the, he inquired as to how to get to the college, and of course it was quite difficult in the traffic, and uh, he managed finally to get to the college campus. And as he went onto the campus, he went through the gates of the college, there was a gang of young men standing uh, there on the college campus. And when they all saw this horse and wagon come, they all broke out and laughed, and they all ran toward the horse and the wagon. And they were ridiculing the man and the horse, and making all kinds of terrible statements about him. And as they were ridiculing and making all of these terrible statements about him, the old man all of a sudden had tears in his eyes because he recognized one of the young men as his son. And as John finally came closer, he suddenly recognized his father, and he just froze right there. He didn't even come any closer. The others came closer and started to ridicule him. And they laughed at him. And they said, hey, old man, you're in the wrong place. And they, they said all kinds of rotten things to him. And he looked over the heads of these boys, and he called out to his son. And his son turned away and walked off. He was ashamed of his father. And the father turned that horse around with these boys still laughing at him and throwing things at him and ridiculing him. And he went all the way back, made that long trip back. When he finally got home, he got off of the wagon. He went up and he sat down on the porch, on the steps of the porch, and he dropped his head and he died. He died of a broken heart. 